With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a point and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler point action menu. Locate the Q mesh action. With the Q mesh action selected, you'll have one target and then some modifiers down below. Return your model and simply clicking and dragging will generate the Q mesh point action. Now as you hover over the point in which you're going to apply the QMesh to, you'll also notice that the polys surrounding the point are getting highlighted. This highlighting will show you which direction the actual QMesh point action will be applied to your model. So if I hover over this point and this poly is highlighted, and I simply click and drag, the QMesh action will be applied in this direction. If I highlight this poly while hovering over this point and click and drag, the QMesh point action will be applied in that direction. So using this highlighting, you can determine which way the actual QMesh point action will be applied on the surface of your model. Another thing to notice about the QMesh point action versus the extrude action is the QMesh action will apply a fusion or weld function to any adjacent QMesh points. So if I pull this point out right here using that QMesh action, and then I come over to this point and make sure I have this poly selected and click and drag, you'll see it'll start to draw this point out and then when it gets close, it will snap and actually fuse to the previous Q-meshed point. So using this action, you can come through and start generating interesting carved shapes into the surface of your model. And since it's using the Q-mesh action, it will fuse all those areas together, giving you a nice solid mesh.